Hi guys, this is Fanchi and today I want to make a tutorial about split toning. I'm gonna make your image coming from this to this. So what is split toning? Split toning is actually an alteration of the luminance linear curve. So that means that we are separating the red, the green and the blues from the luminance curve. So why I love this tool, it's because I can have full control on the color of my shadows and on the colors of my highlights. So it permits me uh, in my commercial grade to have a very subtle uh, film print emulation because every lot that I have for film print emulation are quite heavy in terms of look and uh, most of the time it's not uh, aligning with what the client is wanting so this technique permits me to really finesse the look and not having like a very bold film print on my image so before i leave you with the tutorial i'm sorry for my look because i was uh, visiting kuala lumpur with my dad uh, making him a tiny tour of the city and so then i came back I'm pretty sweaty, <laughs> but I want to make this intro right now because uh, otherwise I would like have too much delay in uh, the video and I really want to uh, show you this video because this is a technique that I really use all the time. I really love. So uh, I hope the tutorial will um, help you. Yeah, enjoy. So here we are guys uh, with our timeline. What we're gonna do is uh, putting our project setting uh, from timeline color space DaVinci white gamut intermediate and uh, output color space Rec 709 gamma 2.4. Uh, I like to work in this color space because it's a broader color space. So you can really manipulate uh, the colors as uh, you prefer and as you want. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, to handle this color space an input uh, display transform and an output display transform. So for this, you go to input display transform, go to effects, take the color space, drop it on it. And uh, this footage is um, S-Log3 footage. So we're gonna go from uh, Sony Gamut 3 Cine to uh, S-Log3. And we're gonna go uh, for uh, output color space to DaVinci White Gamut and uh, DaVinci Intermediate. Uh, I'm just gonna put uh, luminance mapping and saturation compression. And so for uh, the output display transform, we're gonna do another color space going from DaVinci, DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate to um, Rec. 709 and uh, Gamma 2.4. So why are we doing this? It's only to um, contain the color space between uh, two transformations. So one transformation to tell the software that like we uh, intend to go to the DaVinci white gamut color space and another transformation to tell the software uh, please transform this DaVinci white gamut to a Rec. 709 to be read uh, by my display. So then um, to balance the image, uh, we're just gonna go to our LGG and put a bit of lift, uh, go up in gain, uh, just go down in gamma, okay. I think I'm just gonna put a bit of temp, put the image a bit more uh, cold. So we're just gonna slide our temperature to uh, minus 50, uh, minus 57 is fine. Um, after I'm gonna go to HDR just because uh, I really like to have a more uh, subtle roll off. So I'm just gonna go to light and uh, go down in light, just a tiny bit, just to take care of this roll off. And uh, if you want to see, it's before and after. Before, after. Okay, 
so now that we have this um, let's just go uh, for a bit of contrast but not too much because if you see in this uh, image the DP intended to shoot it very clean so we're just gonna go uh, very slight with the contrast but not too much very slight like uh, one zero yeah one zero twenty nine is fine completely fine okay so then like we can go to uh, the matter that we are discussing which is the split toning so the split toning is actually an incredible tool um, you take your curve uh, for me uh, I prefer to work uh, with the curves uh, um, a bit bigger so then I know uh, what I'm, I am doing so um, I'm gonna click this link to uh, Oh, sorry. I'm going to click this link to unlink uh, each channel. So here the Y is actually luminance channel. The R is the red channel. The G is the green channel. And the B is the blue channel. So split toning is basically um, having a separation of red, green and blue. So um, split toning for me, uh, in my in my grading, I love using it as a split tone of the shadows uh, because it creates, I feel, a bigger density in my grade. So uh, what we're gonna do is going to red channel, uh, holding our option key, and create a point. Why am I holding my option key? It's because I don't want this point to slide. So then I can slide it to my curve without it going off. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is create another point and just going down like that. Okay, so let's just have it here so we can see what is creating. So when I go a bit more next to the curve, next to uh, the line, um, my shadows are way more red. When I move the red uh, towards like down, my shadows are way more blue and green. So that creates a bit more density in my shadows. So what I can do after is affecting the green and the blue so i can go to the green i can uh, hold my option key create another one and be like okay so then i'm gonna slide and see if you see it can create a very interesting feeling on the shadows so if i go too far it's like uh, removing all the greens uh, in the shadow if i go too uh, far up it's gonna uh, put too much green in the shadows so, for example, I can be like, hmm, I like this spot, actually. I like this spot and I would like to remove more uh, red. And then we can go to the blue and do the same option. Uh, put our point and uh, see what it's doing with the blue. So if I put too much blue, then my shadows will be very blue. If I remove the blue then my shadows will be very green for example so uh, we can find a sweet spot somewhere or be like oh actually i don't need really to touch the blues because yeah because actually like these blues are pretty fine for me okay so also you can split tone in the shadows but also you can split tone uh, in the mid tones and the, the gains um, so what we can do is do a split tone uh, at the highest part of the curves. So I can uh, hold my option key and uh, create another uh, point, go up and be like, mm, I want more red or I want less red. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Actually, I think the green, I'm going to pass it and option blue and let's, let's put more blue. Yeah, blue is quite nice actually. 
So we have this. If I want to come back to uh, my shadows, what I can do is uh, just fine tune everything. So I'm just like seeing what are the sweet spots, you know, for this. Maybe my character is a bit too red, so I'm just gonna uh, bring back some uh, colors. And yeah, I think I think we're fine. So here for the curves if you see i'm just gonna pull this up um if you see this was the image that we had before and this is the image that we have after so before and after so if you can uh, see we have better contrast uh, with like deeper, deeper shadows. So why is split toning so pleasing to the eye? It's because it used the same science as uh, film print emulation, most of the film print emulations, um, because these film print emulations uh, have most of the time a split tone of the shadows and a split tone of uh, uh, the mid-tones or the highlights. Uh, so, um, here you can have, for example, a very clean grade, but uh, without this very intense uh, film print on it. So uh, I use this uh, technique of spin toning most of the time when I have commercial grade that still need to be clean, um, but I want to bring a bit more uh, like deeper shadows and uh, a more interesting uh, color approach to uh, the commercial, for example. And the advantage really of split toning is, is the fact that like you can really fine tune uh, what you want because you only affect uh, the curves. So then like um, if for example I really don't like these shadows, I can like take it back by just moving my knob, uh, just moving my point of red, my point of green, my point of blue. So this is very useful to know. Um, I hope that you really like this tutorial. I hope that it helped and it will help your, your workflow and for you also to have like better uh, ideas to be uh, creative with your grade. And yeah, uh, just subscribe to the channel because it's really cool like to hang out with you guys. And I hope like to see you next week. See you, bye.